6'9", senior for the Berries, and the tip goes to Logan Sport. Jay Williams with the ball, passing over to Kinnaman, works halfway down the left side, back out to Williams near the guard slot. Williams working with a bounce pass to Kinnaman down in the left-hand corner. Spins around, being trapped over there, and an automatic jump ball is called as he's not Kinnaman number 30 of the very end. The tip goes to Hayward. Cotterman flipping the ball up floor now. Kirby takes it in with a jump shot at 15 feet and scores, and Hayward draws first blood in the ball game, leading 2-0. Half a minute gone here, just getting underway. A little bit late start because of the length of the B-team game. The B-Berries winning 46-24. Kinnaman with it to Williams, who shoots from the circle off the front of the rim, gets his own rebound on the left side of the floor. Brings it back out to set it up now for the Berries. Hayworth with ha having a real good season. Here's Kinnaman on to Flowers. Baseline jumper by Jeff is good. We have a foul on the play. Five out of 34. And here's his right hand free throw attempt. It's in the air. It is bouncing off the rim where it's pulled in by uh, Jerome Floyd for Hayward. Now bring it up for Colleen's Huskies. Looks in toward the middle and feeds off here on the left wing to Mick Montgomery and a shot by Cotterman from the corner is good. It's four to two. Hayworth leading in the ball game. One minute to play and a little more gone. Now Williams on to Kinnaman. <clears throat> Kinnaman working the right guard slot. Bounce pass to Jones. Down the corner to Williams. Back out to Jones. Williams in the left corner deep. Jay, the young sophomore guard, makes a bad pass over Jones's head. Goes down the end of the floor and out of bounds. And they'll give it to Hayworth. So, and hollering like they were at Purdue today. Here's the pass out deep to Kirby. Kirby works in with a jump pass over deflected, recovered by Jeff Flowers. One man in front of him. Now Jeff slows it down, and the Berries will set it up. Williams with the ball at mid floor. Bouncing it over to Jones on the left side. Back out to Kinneman. Fakes. Now he's open at 10 feet. Puts it up. Too strong off the board. Flowers has the rebound. Takes it out. Over to Jones and back to Williams. Williams on the right side to Kinneman. Halfway down. Now moves in. Stops to Flowers on the right corner, back out to Kinnaman. The Berries haven't been able to get it into Mullen yet. Jones with the ball, deep in the corner to Williams on the far side. To the circle, it's Kinnaman. The shot is no good. Tip by Flowers, no good, and knocked out of bounds. It will be Hayward's first quarter. Your host, the Coca-Cola Modeling Company, Burger Chevrolet, Logan Sport Savings and Loan, and the Brokerage House. Now, Mudd's over on the far side. They get it in underneath to Floyd. And he feeds it back out deep to Mark Mitzelfeld. Now from the top of the key, Kirby scores again. It's Hayworth lead six to two. Five and a half minutes to play here in the first quarter. And the crowd getting no reaction at all from this ball game. Here's Kinneman, and he is fouled by Mitzelfeld. First personal. Williams inbounds pass to Kinneman. Coach Jim Williams concerned about the Berries tonight as to whether they would be ready for this ball game after that. Strenuous deal or deal last night at Anderson. Now into Mullen on the left side of the basket. The shot gets away from him and it's recovered by Hayworth. Down quickly comes Kirby to the right side of the lane. Yeah, and Floyd travels with the ball. So the Huskies turn it over and the very Flowers Jones, the corner man, Mullen in the center. And Flowers so far has the only Logan Sport point. Sat on a field goal. Here's Kinneman. Far corner, Jay Williams. Back to Kinneman for a 15 footer. It's good. Kinnaman scoring, and it's a 6-4 ball game. Hayworth with the ball in the two-point lead. Mitzelfeld right up the middle of the floor. He steps across Felix, across the timeline, gives off to Cotterman, and he travels as he starts to move toward the free. Fairly good crowd on hand in the very ball tonight. No sellout by any stretch of the imagination. Here's Jones, way deep on the left wing. Cross courts it over to Kinnaman down the corner. Williams lets her fly. He's got it. Jay Williams scores, and that ties it at 6 all. Flowers, Williams, and Kinnaman now, each with a field goal apiece for the Berries. In the pivot, here's Floyd, and another traveling call on the senior forward. We're almost midway through the first quarter. Logan Sport has not had the lead yet tonight. Here's a chance for them to go up. Williams, top of the free throw circle, over to Jones, left side, into Mullen, left of the basket. The shot is a spinner off the rim. No good, and Hayward's got him and rebounds. Mitzelfeld brings it up on the dribble. Over to Kirby. Down to the left side with the baseline. Jump shot. It's no good. And ball comes right down to Jay Williams and Logan Sport. Follows the pack up the floor. Working to the edge of the circle. Out to Jones. Left wing. Jones back over to Kinneman. Now in the corner. It's Williams faking. He's open. The 15-footer is no good. And we have a foul underneath the board. Called again. 
Hayworth will bring it up floor with three and a half minutes to go in the first quarter. It's Mitzelfeld on the dribble for Hayworth. Bouncing it over here to Montgomery. Montgomery cross court pass to Kirby in the right corner. Halfway out now, back to Mitzelfeld on the point. Down to uh, Kirby, then to Montgomery. Back in the pivot, a loose ball. Cotterman retrieves it, and then he is tied up. Pass went in the score tied at 6 6. And the tip is controlled by Kinneman. Mullen getting it out to him, and now Kinneman gives it back to Jay Williams, and the young sophomore guard will set it up for the Berries. On to Kinneman, right side. Kinneman works in toward mid floor to Jones for a 15 footer. Off the back of the rim, rebound by Williams, cuts across the lane, onto the right side of the floor, and then reverses with Kinneman to come back to mid floor. And there's a kick ball by Kirby, six to six. Barry's with a deliberate offense anyway, will keep that score down. That's a tendency of the style of ball they're playing. Here's Williams in the free throw circle over to Jones. 15 footer. Davey, no good. Flowers fights for the rebound and knocks it out of bounds. Making the trip over for tonight's ball game. They're nine and four on the year. The Berries are eight and six. Here's Floyd shooting over Mullen high off the board, and Mullen goes up for the rebound and loses the ball to Cotterman, and he scores underneath. Second basket for Cotterman. It's eight to six. Hayward takes the lead now with 2.15 to play. Here's Jay Williams over to Kinneman right side. Kinneman bounce pass to Jones, who has to go out to retrieve it back to Williams in the far corner. Now to Kinneman, over to Flowers, quick jumper by Jeff, off the back of the rim, and Hayworth doing a good job rebounding, clears it, Floyd with the ball. On to Mitzelfeld, in the corner to Montgomery. Back in the lane, Floyd is there, the block shot by Mullen. Beautiful defensive play by the Big Barry Center. And the ball is picked up off the floor by Jay Williams, who brings it back down. Berries need a basket to tie. And Jones pumps long and good. Well, everybody has scored for the Berries, except Mullins, and that's unusual. Normally, Matt's the first one in. Eight to eight, tie score, minute 30 to play. Pass in the pivot. Floyd's jump shot off the rim, no good, and a foul on Kirby underneath. It'll the lead on Hayworth. We'll have a chance now, if they can get a point or a basket, to go up in the ball game. Pass in the corner to Kinneman. Back to the line, the ball is tipped, and it's stolen by Kirby, and he'll bring it up floor now. Let's go, Floyd, rather. Back out to Montgomery. Deep in the, uh, near the timeline. Now to Kirby at mid-floor. 1.05 to go in the first quarter. Here's a pass to uh, Montgomery, looking in toward the middle. Can't get it in. Back out to Mitzelfeld. Top of the key, pass over to Jerome Floyd. Back out to Mitzelfeld on this side, Montgomery. Baseline Kirby, the shot over Mullen is good. That's six points for Kirby. He has six of their ten, and Hayworth leads by two with 44 seconds remaining in the first period. Here comes Jay Williams, top of the key, and a foul called on Kirby. No contest. Inbounds now to Jay Williams. Comes right at the top of the free throw circle. Bounce pass to Kinneman. Back to Williams. Back to Kinneman. 29 seconds with the clock running in the period. Now Jones with the ball. Back to Williams. Shoots on the edge of the circle. It's no good. Mullins fighting for the rebound. Has it fall off. And uh, Floyd rebounds for Hayward. Down to Kirby. 15 footer right side. No good. And Kinneman has the ball. 10 seconds to go. Kinneman clearing the rebound. Now to Williams. Eight seconds to play. Barry's need a basket to tie. Jones pass into Mullins. Kicked out of bounds with 15 points a game. Inbounds to Williams. He drives and bounces it over to Flowers, whose shot is no good at the buzzer. That's the end of the quarter with a score. Hayworth 10, the Berries 8. And now this, please, from the Friendship Dealership, Burger Chevrolet Buick. 5 out of 10, 50%. And they lead it 10 to 8. Second quarter underway, and the tip goes to Kinneman. Kinneman giving it back to Jay Williams, and the Berries have the ball. Williams at mid floor, over to Jones, left side. Now to Bubba, and they collapse on him. Back to Jones for a 20 foot one hander. It's good. Second basket for Davy Jones, and the Berries have tied the score at 10 to 10. We'll see more low scoring ball games this year. Maybe that's the trend in high school basketball now. Here's Floyd from the right corner, no good. A whistle underneath the basket, and I believe looking for his first point and he missed it and the rebound is cleared by Jerome Floyd of Hayworth now Mitzelfeld down to Montgomery gets by Williams pass into Cotterman 10 foot jump shot underneath to Floyd and he scores Floyd's first basket 12 to 10 in some respects it's like last night's game Hayworth has always had the lead the berries can tie but not go ahead Jones with it 
up the left side now to the top of the key and he passes right over to Jerome Floyd of Hayward and the Huskies bring it back up the floor. Now to Mitzelfeld, back out to Floyd. At mid floor, Hankinson with the ball. In for the shot from the free throw line is no good. Tipped up, no good. Taken by Flowers and Jeff being bumped more by his own players and by Hayward manages to hang on to it and keep his balance then gives it to Williams who trots down the floor with it. Over to Kinneman on the right side. Back to Jay Williams. Berries have not had any success in getting it in to Mullen. Now they get try a shot from the side by Matt. It's no good. And a foul on Flowers is called. It's Jeff's a fine ball player. All right, Hayworth with a two-point lead and the ball. Mitzelfeld. Bounce pass to Hankinson. Back to Mitzelfeld. Over to Montgomery on the right side. Down deep in the corner. Now back in underneath. The ball is knocked out of bounds by Hayworth at the end. 12 to 10 of the crowd just not reacting at all to anything happening. They're sitting here very, very quiet. Like an awake. Williams to the right side. Now to the top of the lane. Over to Jones. Back to Williams. Down the right corner to Kinneman. Back out. Back down to Kinneman. He'll shoot from the corner. It is a spinner off the rim. And Floyd rebounds for Hayward. And the Berries are not rebounding their own backboard. Down the corner. Townsend with the ball. Jump pass in the middle is deflected over to Jay Williams, stolen away from him as it's retrieved by Floyd, and he'll throw it out of bounds on this side of the floor. Ten, hey, Kinneman. Having a little discussion on the first party of the Berries on the road, conference game at Marion. And here's Eric Sweet with the ball, giving it out to Flowers and now to Jay Williams. Down the far corner, Jones shoots long. It's no good. And Hayworth rebounding real well, but Sweet steals the ball from Townsend. Good steal by Eric Sweet. Now Williams back to Sweet on the right side. Pass to Williams, far corner. Jones pumps away. Good. Three field goals for Jones. Davy has six points, leading score right at this point. And the Berries have tied it at 12 apiece. Hankinson now. Dribbling across the circle to the right side the Floyd. Works against Flowers. Reverse layup is good. Second basket. Protesting something down there. They get there, get no satisfaction from that. Five minutes left. Hayworth 14, the Berries 12. Here's Sweet, right side. To Williams. Over to Jones. Back out. Williams. Back Jones. Down on the baseline in the corner to Flowers. Now Jones with it. Back to Flowers. Trying to get in in the middle, and Mullen is really zipped out tonight. They can't get it into him. Back to Jones, back to Flowers. Now into Mullen's turnaround jumper. Good. That's Mullen's first field goal. And it ties the game at 14 all. 4.35 to play here in the first half. It's Mitzelfeld working across the 10 second line here in the Berry Bowl to the free throw circle. And then out to Hankinson, right side to Floyd. Back to Mitzelfeld, the loose ball picked up by Hankinson, shoots a 15 footer and scores. Left handed jump shot by Hankinson on a really what was a loose ball. And it's 16 14 Hayward. They've had the lead. Berries have been able to tie, have never been able to be on, be on top. Here's Jones to Williams. Down the corner, Sweet lets her go. He's got it. Well, every Berry that's played has scored. And it's 16 to 16, all tied up. Mitzel Felt setting it up for Hayworth. Comes to the right side with a bounce pass to Rick Montgomery. Back to uh, Hankinson, over to, down on this side. The pass goes out of bounds from Mitzel Felt. To me, it's a low scoring contest as both teams are working at the uh, their offensive attack as a deliberate style of basketball. Three and a half minutes to go in the half. Hayward now in a man-to-man -man defensively. Here's Jay Williams deep on the left side. Giving to Mullen on the high post. Give and go to Flowers. Takes it down. Can't go anywhere. Back out to Williams. Down to Flowers on the left sideline. Takes it into the pivot, but there's three guys in front of Mullins. They got him pretty well blocked out. Now Flowers has the ball. Works in the lane. Sets up Mullins. Lay up. Good. And a foul on the play. Mullins scores. Have missed their only two free throw attempts of the game. Matt gets this one. And the Berries have the lead for the first time. 19-16. Berries come out with a presser defense. Hankinson with the ball. Long pass down to Townsend. Works into the right side of the line. Tip pass by Williams. Stolen by Sweet. Eric drives down up from the right side for the layup. It's good. And a foul call. 16. Sweet at the line. One shot coming. And the chance to convert a three-point play. He did. 22 
scored six straight points on the Huskies. Pressure defense. Hankins has the ball. Comes up this near sideline. Bounce pass to Townsend, and they'll bring it down. In the circle, Jerome Floyd out to Mitzelfeld. Back out to Floyd, deep on the right side. Now to Hankins, and in the lane with a jump pass off. Townsend walked, but they're going to let him score. He <laughs> got about three steps in there without dribbling, but nothing was called. He gets the lay-in, his first basket of the night, and it's 22 to 18. Here's Jay Williams now for the Berries. Down the side to Sweet. Eric baseline, double team, getting it out to Jones for an 18-footer. Good. Eight points for Dave Jones. They've had, I think, 10 in last night's game at Anderson. The Berries 24, Hayworth 18. Two minutes to go here in the half. Floyd with it. Out deep on the right side, guarded by Flowers. Now in the pivot, Towns, and we're getting a lane violation against going with Eric Sweet and uh, Williams at guards. The front line the same, Flowers, Jones, and Mullen. Williams, the playmaker, brings it down to the attack zone. Over to uh, Flowers, and Jeff almost bobbled it. Now finds a handle. Try to fake it in the middle. Can't get it in there. Now to Sweet. Eric back to Williams. Minute 39 to play. Flowers with the ball. Driving into the lane. And we're getting a whistle. With 242 points, his free throw is good. Here's Mullins' bonus. It's good. He gets them both. And the Berries have a 26 to 18 lead. Zone press, long pass down to Montgomery. At mid floor now to Kirby. Down on this side to Townsend. John pass on the short post. Now underneath for a reverse layup by Floyd. It's good, his third basket. And it's 26-20, Logan up by six. A minute 20 to go here in the half. Here comes Williams up the floor, stops. Looks around, finds Sweet on the right side. Back to Williams on the point. Williams going to his left, reverses back to the right side now. Now comes into the top of the lane, gives it out to Flowers. Jeff into Mullen for a 15-footer from the side. It's good. Mullen scores. He had to roll it in there, but it went into the net, and that's what counts. And it's 28-20. to 20. The Berry's up by eight. Here's Jerome Floyd, deep right, back to mid-floor. Kirby in the middle now, Townsend down the lane, and the foul called on Mullen. Here's the pass in. The shot by Townsend is good. Nice out-of-bounds play with Townsend scoring, and it's 28-22. They're getting Mullen out, of course, before letting him ride out the rest of the half, hoping. And there's a ball tipped away from Williams, but he gets it back. Now to Sweet. They don't want Matt to get that third foul before the half ends. That's why they're doing that. Now Kinneman. They'll run the clock down. 30 seconds to go. Kinneman over to Williams. Williams crossed the free throw circle down to Kinneman, back out to Eric Sweet. 20 seconds remaining in the half. The Berries lead by six. Now it's Dave Jones with the ball. Jones out uh, deep here on the right side. Hands it to Eric Sweet. He drives toward the edge of the lane. Back out to Flowers. Eight seconds to play. Now Sweet with the ball. Now they'll have to make the move. Bounce pass over to Williams. Three seconds to go. Two, one. The shot by Williams is blocked. And that is the end of the first half. With the score, the Berries 28, Hayworth 22. Raymond? They trail the Berries by six. Here's a pass on the post, and Jerome goes down with a nice layup and scores. Floyd, yeah, Jerome Floyd, his eighth point of the ball game. Cuts the Berries' lead to four. Right, Williams now heading for the right side, giving a bounce pass over to Eric Sweet. Eric moves in, long one-hander off the back of the rim. Mullins' rebound is up. It is too strong. Tipped up and in by Jones. And a foul call. Unofficial score sheets is the first time the Berries have gone through the half without scoring, without giving up the one and one free throw. They had only three team fouls. Ball knocked out of bounds. Yeah, the Huskies didn't have a free throw in the first half. An attempt at one even. Here's a pass down to Floyd. Loose ball picked up by Jones. And now Williams will bring it up floor for the Berries. The time strike, top of the free throw circle. Being trapped, looking for some help. Finds Jones on this side. Dave drives deep in the corner, lets her go. It's no good, tipped up no good by Flowers. Long pass by Townsend to Hankinson for a layup. It's no good, the follow through is in by Floyd. Or was it Kirby? All right, that's Floyd. He has 10 points in the game and the Berries lead by four now, 30 to 26, 6.45 to play third quarter. Here's Sweet. Hayworth playing the zone defensively. Sweet out to the right side. Long one-hander is good. Long-range artillery, and Eric Sweet has seven points in the game, and the Berries lead 32-26. 
Six and a half to play. Pass in the post to Townsend, and he's tied up. We'll have a jump ball. Jeff on the tip, and it comes to the side of the floor where it's picked up by Jerome Floyd of Hayworth. Far side to Kirby. In the middle, the ball is loose, but it's knocked right back out, and a lane violation against Hayworth. Right, Sweet and Williams bringing it up now for the Berries. The front line is Flowers, Jones, and Mullen. Here's Williams with the ball, left court deep. In the middle to Mullen. Shot is up. It is no good. Tipped up by Flowers. No good. Mullins can't get it. Flowers does. Back out to Jones. Good hustle by the Berries there as they keep the ball at their end of the floor. Now Williams in the circle to Jones at 20 feet. It is no good. Misses everything and is picked up on the near the far corner there by Kirby. Up quickly to Hankinson. In the middle, the ball goes out of bounds off the foot of uh, for Jay Williams. 5.45 third quarter, the Berries 32, Hayworth 26. Eric Sweet to Jones. Dave out near the timeline, over on the far side to Kinnaman, to Jones in the circle, the one-hander is in and out, no good. Rebound by Montgomery of Hayworth. Jump pass up to Townsend, back out to Kirby. Down the right side to Montgomery, out to Hankinson in the circle. On the right side to Floyd, he has almost lost it. Back out to Kirby, or to Hankinson rather. Now to Floyd, looking in the middle, gives it off to Kirby. 15-foot jumper, good. Kirby with eight points in the game, and the Berries' lead is cut to four, 32 to 28. Five minutes to go in the third quarter. Crowd quiet again. Here's Sweet with the ball. Over to Kinneman. Deep in the right side. Cross court to the Jones. Down the corner. Eric pumps away. It's no good. Rebound to Townsend. Long baseball pass to Hankinson for underneath the basket. Goes for the layup and is fouled by attempted in the game by Hayward. And his attempt is good. Second free toss. It's in the air, and it is no good. The ball picked up underneath. Who's going to get it? Flowers for the Berries. Almost recovered by Montgomery. Now Eric Sweet with it. Brings it up to the four court for the Berries. To Jones, to Mullen, and Matt was fouled by Montgomery. Come up with the right call. Here's Jones putting it in play from the end line. Out deep to Kinneman. Kinneman cross courts the ball over to Eric Sweet. Eric drives in. Layup is off the front of the rim. Rebound by Flowers, and he's fouled by Montgomery. And that's the... And here's Jones inbounds pass. It's going to go in the corner, left side to Kinneman. Eric being trapped, dribbles through two men in the lane with the shot. It is no good, and another foul. This one is on Kirk Jones, inbounds pass, and he's going to give it to Flowers on the left side. Out to Eric Sweet. Eric into the free throw circle on the far corner. Jones lets her go. Good. Jones scores. He has 12 points. He's off to one of his best games of his career. And a loose ball is tied up by Kinneman. Kinneman came right up, and here's the tip, and it's going to be long to Hayworth. Hankinson with it in the circle. Jump pass off. A foul on Kinneman is called. 429, just less than four minutes remaining in the third quarter. Hankinson in the circle. Out to Kirby. Kirby shovel pass into Townsend. He's in the lane having trouble. And he's fouled by Eric Sweet. And Jim Williams is going to make the pass up the right side. Now into Hankinson. A shot from the circle. Is a spinner no good? To the side of the floor where Flowers retrieves it. Brings it down on a two-on-two -two fast break. Under to Sweet to Mullen. And a foul call. Good ball handling by the Berries. The foul is off. 429. Free throw by Mullen is good. Mullen's second shot is in. 36 29. Berries up by seven now. Up quickly comes Hankins or er, Floyd. Now to Hankinson. Cotterman on to Kirby in the right corner. Brings it out toward the circle. Gives it off to Hankinson, who's at the free throw line. Now to uh, Floyd on this side. Floyd reverses, looks in the middle to Cotterman, down the lane, and a foul call. Okay, all in the first half. Steps into the 15-foot line, and his right-hand free throw attempt is to the front of the... Puts it up. It's good. 36-30, Barry's up by six. Clock running now, nearing three minutes, five seconds of play in the third quarter. Sweet up quickly for the Berries. Almost stolen away from him, but he retrieves it as Hankinson reached in to bat it away. Long pass to Flowers. Jeff, right side of the lane, fakes, takes the shot. It won't fall. And a foul on Jerome Shooter at the line this year. And his right-hand free throw is bouncing in. 7-30, here's the second free throw by Jeff. 
It's good, and it's 38 to 30. Barry's up by eight, less than three minutes remaining in the third quarter. Game moving right along. Kirby on to Cotterman to the right side. Cotterman works in and has the ball taken away from him by Dave Jones. And the Colleen throws a towel. I saw it go up in the air down there. The Hayworth coach. Here's Sweet in the circle. Out to Kinneman. Down on the baseline to Flowers. Back to Kinneman. Eric bouncing it over to Eric Sweet. And he's tied up. We'll have a jump ball. Eric Sweet getting himself. Here's the jump ball. And it goes to Jerome Floyd of Hayworth. Now up to Kirby. Left to the right side. Deep in the corner to Cotterman. Baseline jump shot over the screen. is no good. In the lane, it's Townsend with a shot up. It's no good. And a charging foul on Townsend. His third of the game. You may see the tee here before the night's over. All right, the Barrys put the ball in play on the offensive foul. Kinneman has it. They're trapping him defensively. He gets it up to the line to Flowers. Comes down the left side to Jones. Back out to Flowers. Over to Kinneman at mid floor. Eric over to Sweet on the right side line. Minute 57 to go here in the third period. Sweet in the pivot of Jones underneath the Flowers. Fakes now. Travels with the ball. Couldn't get, a, couldn't get a score off of it. Hayworth has the ball. Brett Kirby. Near the top of the free throw circle. Back to Hankinson, over to Kirby. Going to his left now with the pass to Cotterman. Down deep in the corner. Hankinson with the ball. And it's the ball rolling loose and a traveling call against Hayworth. We'll give it to Hayworth, 30. Barry shooting for their fifth consecutive win. Eric Sweet setting it up for Logansport. Guarded tightly by Hankinson. Being trapped, gets a pass over to Kinneman. Two men colliding on uh, Kinneman. High pass in the corner to Sweet. He pumps long. It's good. Sweet scores. Eric with nine points in the ball game. It's 40 to 30. Logan Sport's biggest lead now. Ten points. On the post. Here's Floyd in the lane and stolen away from him by Kinneman. He kicks the ball and it's picked up by Floyd. He goes down the lane with a shot. It's no good. And Jones rebounds for the Barry. Now to Sweet, 59 seconds, less than a minute to play. Here in the third quarter, the Berries have the ball and a 10-point lead over Hayward. Sweet with it, working and draws the foul on Hankinson. That's his first right-hand attempt is up. It's good. It's only 50 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. The bonus attempt, no good. Rebound by Flowers in the lane. Boy, did he leap for that. And the tip. Double tipped out to the side of the floor and out of bounds. It will be. Oh, all right, here's the inbounds pass, and it's going to go to Jay Williams, and a technical foul. It looks like the last Saturday night game of the season for the Berries. Dave Jones, technical free throw shooter, missed it. It's our best free throw shooter percentage-wise, 82%. He makes the second day right here in front of uh, the Berries coaches. <clears throat> here's the uh, pass now, coming in to Jay Williams. 42 seconds to play in the third quarter. Williams away from Hankinson, now to Sweet. Berries are going to go, looks like possibly their spread offense. Sweet down to Flowers on the baseline. Back out to uh, Jones. Williams trying to spread him out like a four-corner offense. Jones with the ball down the lane, under to Flowers, layup. No good, a spinner. Rebound taken by Townsend. And his pass up floor to Hankinson. He shoots from the circle, it's short. Hankinson on the rebound. Puts it up, it's no good. He was fouled on the play by... Here's the left-hand attempt is up, it's good. And the second free throw is good by Hankinson. Makes it 42-32, buries by 10. 10 seconds left in the, in the third quarter. Williams with the ball, seven seconds now at mid-floor. Bean getting away from two men, over to Stephan, down the corner. Jones works in and draws a foul on Townsend. It's All right, Dave Jones at the line, is it? 18 of 22 for 82 percent. His free throw is good. 15 point right now. It's up and it is out. No good. Taken by Jerome Floyd and he throws it to the other end of the floor which ends the third quarter with the Berries leading by 11, 43 to 32. And we'll be back after this from the Friendship Dealership Burger Show. All right, we're set to get the fourth quarter underway and the tip will go deep to Hayward. Hankinson, long pass down to Floyd in the right corner. Back to Hankinson. Fakes to Floyd. Now he gives it to him. Back out to the guard spot here to Brett Kirby. We're in the first minute of play of the final period in the ballgame. The Berries are leading by 11. Hankinson in the circle. 
Left side pass, long shot Kirby is no good, and the ball in the corner will go out of bounds to the Bears. Led by five again, third quarter, first game. The first time these two played, the Bears led by five points going into the fourth quarter, and Hayworth came from behind to win it. Here's uh, Jay Williams, and a foul on Williams. Offensive foul gives the ball to the Huskies. Here's Montgomery in the right forward position in the pivot now. Floyd going against uh, Mullen with a reverse layup and scores a beautiful shot. Gives him 12 points in the game and gets, cuts the Berries lead to nine. Presses on, fast knock out of bounds by Townsend. Now it drops back, no press. Inbounds to Kinneman. He's picked up right away by Hankinson on a one-on-one -on -one defense. Kinneman to the top of the free throw circle. Off on this side to Flowers. Flowers faking it into Mullen. Back out to Sweet at mid-floor. Eric dribbling a couple times in the circle. Out to Kinneman on the right side. Kinneman looking. Dribbles at once. Back out to Flowers. 6.45 to go in the game now. The Berries lead by nine. Here's Sweet with the ball. Eric starts a move and the foul is called on Kirby's game. Well, he's got 10 right now. And he has a Eric is ready, and the free throw is good. 45-34, Wogansport, 6.35 to play. Here's Montgomery to the right side, looking in toward the middle, cross-court pass to Kirby, now in the middle of Montgomery, and he shoots by Mullen, no good, back to Montgomery at the free throw line, now at the top of the lane with a jump shot, it's short, and a fight for the rebound, who's got it? Loose ball on the floor, and the jump ball, traveling is called after the ball game. Sweet with it. Over to Flowers. Jeff up floor to Jones. Dave will hold it up now to set it for the Berries. Over to Kinneman. Eric wide open out there, but deep on the right side. Now to Sweet at mid-floor. Eric comes in the top of the lane to Flowers in the corner. Back out to Kinneman. Eric spinning away to Flowers in the corner. Six minutes left in the ball game now. Here's Kinneman with the ball. Berries lead 45-34. Sweet out deep near the 10-second line. Guarded by Hankinson. Down the sideline to Kinneman. 5.45 to go. Barry's working a deliberate uh, style of offense right here. Now it's Flowers with the ball. Flowers working around the right guard spot. Passes off to Eric Sweet. And Eric down to Kinneman on the right side. Gets by two men and draws the foul. It will be replacing, uh, who did he replace? Montgomery, I believe. Free throw attempt is no good by Kinneman. And Hayworth rebounds. Mitchell fell to Townsend in the right corner. Back out to Mitzelfeld. Top of the circle, into the line. Jump shot, Hankinson short. Foul on Kinneman, call points a game. He has five tonight and only one field goal. His free throw attempt is no good. Here's the left-hand effort, and this time it's good. Now it's a 45-35 score. Berries by 10. Flowers with it. They beat the press down the floor. Flowers has the ball taken right away from him by Kirby. Fast break, Hankinson. He can't catch up with it, and the ball goes out of bounds at the coast. To play and the Berries up by 10. Some of the fans begin to leave. They may be leaving too early. This game's far from over. Here's a ball knocked back out of bounds by Hayworth. Well, put it in play to Kinneman, and he's double teamed right away here in the corner. Cross court pass over to Eric Sweet. Gets by his man, drives down on goal, and travels in the process. Trying to... Eric ran down the lane instead of dribbling down the lane. That cost the Berries the ball. All right, Mitzel fell for the Huskies at mid floor. Pass down the right side over Hankinson, set and out of bounds, and now. All right, Barry's put it in play, and Hayworth knocks it right. Sweets, inbounds pass. Get rid of it. Inbounds to Kinneman. Eric over to Sweet. Almost knocked away from him. Drives right up the floor. Now he'll stop and come back as the Berries, I think, will go to their spread offense. And they will. They've got all the uh, little people in there. Mullins is the only big guy in the game. And here's an automatic jump ball. A sweet jump with the two. Let's see. Here's the tip. No, Sweet gets it to Mullen. And he, in turn, gives it off to Jeff Woody, or Jay Williams. Across the 10-second line. Williams over to Kinneman. Freak drives to Mullen. Baseline move. Layup good. And a foul on Mitzel. And his attempt is short off the lip of the rim. Towns and rebounds for Hayworth to Mitzelfeld. Long pass to Kirby. Shoots from the corner over there. No good. And Jones pulls the rebound in for the Berries. Now to Williams. 
comes Jay up floor, Hankinson guarding him. Kinneman to Jones and then back out. So Barry spread their offense. 3.45 to play. It's 47-35. Logansport leading. And a ball stolen here by Metzelfeld. Down the floor with a layup. It's good. And a foul on Eric Sweet. Metzelfeld gets the free throw, converting the three-point play. Now it's 47-38. Barry's by nine. They bring it down against the press. Jones with the ball. Weaves his way over to the right side. Leaves it there for Eric Sweet. And uh, Hayworth in a man-to-man -man full court press. Here's Sweet with the ball down on this near side in the corner to Matt Mullen. Back out to Sweet. 3.20 left to play in the game. Cross court pass is knocked out of bounds by Hayworth. Logan Sports ball far side of the floor near the 10 second line. Pass comes into the backcourt to Jay Williams. Guarded by Hankinson, spins away from him, looking, passing it over to Kinneman. Eric, two men on him, gets through him, over to Jones, high pass, layup, good by Jones. That's what they're trying to do, but the Barry's almost threw it away. Jones had to go way up in the air to get the pass, come down, then go up for the layup and score. 49 to 38. Mitzelfeld out to Hankinson in the free throw circle, and he takes the shot, it's good. Off balance shot, we have a foul underneath the basket. The game, his first appearance at the charity stripe, and he missed it. And Jones rebounds, and a foul is called. Mullins' free throw is good. <clears throat> Here's the second one by Matt. It's off the rim, cleared for Hayworth by Floyd. Up quickly, missile felt. Top of the key to Hankinson. Over to Grady. Works the left side of the baseline, then passes on this side. But they run it up deep. with 2:36 to go. Full court press again. Eric Sweet with the ball, getting by two men. Over to Jay Williams, up to Kinneman. Kinneman comes on the left side, under to Jones. The layup is good again. Jones having the best, <clears throat> best game of his career. That's 18 points for him. Hankinson with the ball. The Berries are up by 12, 52 to 40. In the pivot, Townsend having trouble with the ball. Has it stolen by Sweet. The referee's going to call a jump ball. Sweet stole it right away from him. Puts it up, it's short. Barry's put the ball in play now, following the technical. Williams with it. Barry's using the spread offense again. And here's Dave Jones on the dribble over to uh, Jeff Flowers. Minute 50 seconds to play. Looks like the Barry's might be ready to avenge that loss handed them earlier. Now Flowers drives in underneath the basket all the way, passes it back out to Williams and over to Kinnaman. And the Barry fans show their approval with some applause. Now Williams with the ball. He drives into the edge of the lane and back out to Flowers again. It's not a stall. The Berries will go to the basket if they get the percentage shot that they want. Williams into Mullen. He's there. It's goaltending. Goaltending and a possible foul. That's been robbed. The free throw is good. Puts it up. It's good. Berries need three more points to get on their per game average. Here's a long one by Hankinson. He rips the nets with it from the right side of the floor. His third field goal tonight. The pressure on again. We're getting a whistle and a five, one and one. Free throw attempt is good. And the bonus free throw. Off the back of the rim, hauled in by Floyd of Hayworth. Comes right straight up the floor in the circle. Passes off to Montgomery. Turnaround shot, no good. Tipped up, no good. Taken by Jones. He's fouled. And this will be on. Jones is ready and misses it short off the lip of the rim. Rebound by Floyd. Long pass down to Hankinson. Drives against Kinneman and draws the foul. He has 10 points in the ball game, Hankinson. Left-handed shooter. He's a 5'9 senior and he makes his free throw. Here it is. It's there. 55-44, 11-point lead for the Berries. 46 seconds, or 54 seconds to go. Another foul at mid-floor. Game out of field goal. His free throw attempt is in and out. Rebound by Mullen. Over to uh, Flowers. Back out to Williams, and they'll set it up. Williams to uh, Kinneman, and another foul call. 
Free throw, good by Williams. Bonus off the front of the rim and Floyd rebounds. Long pass up here to Hankinson. Shooting over Jones, missing. Rebound taken underneath by Grady and he scores. Eric Grady getting the basket to make it 56-46. 30 seconds to go. And it should be about foul time again. Kinneman with the ball. Long high pass. Mullen leaps up. Gets it in nicely to Williams. Over to Flowers and the ball stolen away. Who's going to get it? Loose ball. And we're going to get a traveling call on Hayward. Gets it into Landy Breeden. Landy right near the 10 second line. Dribbles to a couple of guys. Back to Shively. He'll pump it up. It's no good. Rebound knocked out of bounds by Logan Sport. It's Hayward's ball. Nine seconds to go. The Berries by 10. Long pass. It's Floyd with a long shot short. Rebound back to Floyd. Puts it up again. No good. Taken now by Shively. Lost it by Floyd. And that's the ball game. With the Berries winning in a rugged contest, 56 to 46 is the final score here tonight. Logan Sport avenging the loss earlier this year. Rebounds to Lozier. 16 seconds to go. Lozier gives off to Boyer. Down to 12 seconds. Over to Malloy. Boyer down, coming to the left side. Looping pass to Lozier. Takes it in under. And a loose ball, a kickball rule. It will be, I think, Logan Sports ball. Kicked by Hayward with five seconds remaining in the quarter. Barry's have a chance for a shot here before the period ends. Pass comes back to Williams. The screen, the shot. It's... No good. Rebound up no good. Taken by Hayworth, and that's the end of the quarter with a score. Logan scored 55 and Hayworth 38 in this from Berger Chevrolet. Here at the Logan Sport. The end of the third quarter of play. The score is 55 to 38 in favor of Logan Sport. Here's the tip. Lozier controls, getting it away from Embry and tipping the ball over to John Malloy. He leaves it now for Lozier. And the very veteran guard will set up the play. Lozier down, 15-foot jump shot. Good. Lozier with 16 points. The Berries lead 57 to 38, and they're beginning to turn it into a route if they haven't done so already. In the pivot, the Logan Sport steals the ball. Jeff Williams making the steal over to Lozier. Down the corner to Boyer. Back to Lozier. Give and go at 10 feet. Lozier was fouled. Boy, was he hit. And the foul is on Benson. He had come into the game to replace Whitehart. It's Benson's third foul. The Huskies fourth as a team, and Lozier to the free throw line will draw a pair. Mark has hit two out of four at the free throw line, as we mentioned, has 16 points in the game. Here's a free throw by Mark, and it's good. Closure is a free throw shooter, is almost picture perfect. He has that real fine, soft touch. Lifts it up, and zip, in she goes. 59 to 38. Barry fans have to feel a little weird because the last about six weeks the Barrys have been thrillers all the way. Here's a kickball by Jeff Williams. Kokomo will have it at the far side of the floor. And I imagine Jim Williams is enjoying this one too on the bench. He says his stomach has really been growling in the tight games the Barrys have had of late. Pass on to Emery. Baseline takes it in under. It's blocked beautifully by Rusty Griner and recovered by Lozier and knocked out of bounds by Hayward. Griner come back in there to start the fourth quarter in place of Matt Mullins. Good effort there by Rusty Griner. Now Williams with the ball on the inbounds pass from Lozier. Works it to the right side. Good ball handler. Fires it over to Boyer. Give and go to Williams. In under. Reverse layup is good. Williams scores right around the big Embry boy. And it's 61 to 38. Berries are breaking it open here. A minute gone in the fourth quarter on the high post. Benson with the ball. And another kickball rule, I think. Against Logan Sport, it'll be Kokomo's ball out of bounds at courtside. Maddox will put it in play, tossing it into Townsend. Works at the top of the key. Over to Oliver. Left side to Maddox. Barry sticking to that zone defense. It's been pretty impregnable tonight. Here's a long bomb by Oliver from way out. No good. Embry tripped the rebound right in the hands of Boyer. He throws it up floor to Williams. Takes it across the lane. His trip falls down. Ball is retrieved beautifully by Malloy. Over to Griner. Malloy is in the third row of the bleachers. And Lozier waits for him. Gives the ball yeah, back to Malloy who shoots in the corner. No good. The rebound by Townsend of Hayworth. Hayworth Townsend now almost lost a dribble. Picks it up short of the time stripe. Down the corner to Oliver. In the corner. Benson fakes the shot, almost lost the ball, back to Oliver, to the edge of the circle, a shot by Townsend is no good, Embry, now Benson on the rebound, scores. Benson scoring, it's 61-40, to 40. the Berries are leading in the ball game, 
This is certainly a different game than the one they had earlier at the holidays. Here's Griner. Give and go. Williams back underneath the layup blocked by Griner, and a foul is going to be called. It was a good play by the Berries, and the foul is on Embry. It is his second foul of the game. That's five team fouls on Hayworth. The Mogan's board will have the one and one in effect now for the remaining 5.53 of the game. Griner to the free throw line will have two. Rusty has one basket so far tonight. Here's his free throw. It's a little hard off the back of the rim. For Hayworth, number 34, Mark Zarrell comes into the ball game. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's V-Y-Z-R-A-L. Vizro. Griner's second free throw. He missed that, but he crossed the free throw line before the ball got to the basket. And so the violation is called, and Hayworth gets it at the side of the floor. Some of the fans begin to leave already, with the Berries leading by 21. Traveling against Hayworth, and they turn it right back over to Logansport. All right, Lozier with the ball. Hooks over to the bench. Gets away from Townsend. Comes to midcourt. To underneath, oh, nice. and go. Lozier's attempted layup is blocked, and the foul is called. A beautiful feed from Rusty Griner. Lozier to Griner to Lozier, and the foul is on Fizzerol. It is his first foul, and Lozier will probably get two shots here at the free throw line. 5.40 to go in the game. Two shots coming up for Mark Lozier. Free throw is up. It's good. Well, after missing his first two free throws, Mark has now hit five in a row. Here is Brett Davidson coming back in the game, replacing Townsend for the Huskies. Lozier ready for his second free toss. He's ready, pops it up, and bouncing around it falls off, and a foul on the rebound will be charged to Logan Sports Scott Boyer. His first foul of the game, that's five team fouls on the Berries, putting the bonus rule in effect now for Hayworth for the remaining five minutes and 39 seconds of the game. Play between these two schools, he has 14 right now. His free throw is bouncing around, it falls off, pulled down by Griner for the Berries, up to Williams. Williams works to the top of the free throw circle, back to Bozier. Mark looks around, back over to Williams, down the left side to Boyer. Williams comes over to take the handoff, standing here at the sideline, fakes, drives down, spins in, gets away. In the pivot, Griner's shot no good off the board, and Embry rebounds for Hayworth. Looping pass to the far side of the floor, over to Brett Davidson. Cross-court pass to Oliver. He faked the long shot, gives on the baseline to Benson, takes it in the pivot, can't shoot, back out Oliver, 15 feet, he scores. First basket for the 5A junior guard, and it's 62-42. The Barry's leading with five minutes to go. Here's Lozier in the circle, spins down the lane, sets up Malloy in under, reverse layup is blocked. Malloy gets the ball back and is called for traveling. Well, John's tried hard tonight. He's had some good shots, just couldn't get the ball to drop for him. 4.52 remaining. Logan Sport on top by 20 points in a rock and chair game compared to the ones that we've had in about the last six outings. This one is not a nail biter like the other ones have been. Pass comes over on the far side now to Mark Fizzerell. Missed a shot, Embry on the rebound, puts it up, no good. And a scramble for the ball that comes off of the right corner. Hayworth recovers as Benson gets the ball out to Davidson. And a long one by Oliver is good again. So Oliver hits two in a row, and it's 62 to 44. Four minutes and 24 seconds to go. Remember to stay tuned for the fifth quarter after the ball game. Here's Mark Lozier, right in the free throw circle. Sets up Boyer, back to Williams. Williams at the line to Griner, back to Williams, and loses the ball and was fouled in the process. Foul will be charged to Brent Oliver. It is his first one of the game, and Williams at the line will have one and one. Williams is hit nine out of 10 at the free throw line. He's gonna get two shots. The first one is good. Evidently he was in the act of shooting. One of those off balance shots of his. Here's another one. It's good, that makes him 11 out of 12. If my score sheet is right at the free throw line, 64 to 44, Barry's lead by 20. Four minutes, eight seconds to go in the game. On the far side now. Visceral with the ball, out to Oliver who shoots from the middle of the floor, it's off the rim, tipped around, taken by Malloy, good rebound, long pass down to Williams, in the lane, behind the back to Greiner, Williams is good, beautiful play. Greiner scores, what an assist by Jeff Williams, it's 66-44.
Little globe trotter style basketball by the Berries, and it sure looks good when your team does it. Here's Oliver, far corner to Benson. Back to Oliver, the ball gets away from him, but it's retrieved right at the timeline by Brett Davidson. In the pivot to Ambery, a collapse on him, but the big guy loses the ball, and it's a loose ball at mid-floor, and what are we gonna have a foul called on Embry of Hayworth? That'll be his third foul. Mark Embry picking up his third foul, and Coach Jim Williams of the Berries wants a timeout before Scott Boyer goes to the free throw line. Jim comes over to shake hands with Emory as he comes out of the game. And here's the timeout call with 326 to go in the second. 326 left to go in the game, 66 to 44 in favor of Logan Sport. Play with Scott Boyer with the free throw line. One and one for Scotty. He has only one basket tonight and two points. His free throw is good. So Scotty's uh, well under his average. It was 9.7 coming into the game scoring wise. Here's his bonus free throw. It's up. It's bouncing off the side of the rim and recovered by Benson for Hayworth. Brings it right up the floor. Big lanky kid. Now a bounce pass on the side to Tim Harrison now in the game. The substitution on the far side with the ball. Visro comes in. Can't get open. Back out to Davidson down the corner. The shot by Oliver. No good. Rebound. Recovered the line by Davidson. Passes off the Benson. His layup is blocked nicely by Rusty Griner. And then uh, recovered by Hayworth as they maintain possession. Pass in the corner to Harrison. Can't get open. Gives to Benson deep in the right corner slot. Now decides to take a shot, and it's kind of a weak one. And Griner losing the ball out of bounds. Did a good effort there to try to keep it in play. 2.51 remaining. It's 67-44. Logan Sport leading. Berries have led practically all the way. With the ball, Brett Davidson on the pivot now. Benson with a turnaround shot and a good one. Brad Benson scoring on a high arching looper. Here's a one man press put on and Lozier shakes loose from it. Brings it across the time stripe. In underneath the basket and the ball right in the hands. Intercepted by Benson. Fast break Hayward down under Davidson. Reverse layup no good. Knocked out of bounds by Matt Mullen. For the Berries, Tom Kendall comes in the ball game now, a 6'1", 175-pound junior, and he replaces Mark Lozier. Lozier gets a standing ovation for the Berry fans. 19 points, I have to die. 19 points for Mark Lozier. He plays a lot more ball than that. Here's a shot by Benson, no good, and Mullen rebounds for the Berries. Up to Kendall, down the floor to Boyer, and he loses the ball. It's recovered down here in the corner by Kokomo Hayward's Brett Davidson. 2.14 remaining to play. Fifth quarter coming up after the game. Here's a charging foul on Oliver as Williams got a uh, position on him, and Oliver picks up his second foul. Player control foul will get the ball out of bounds. The Logan's board to the side of the floor. Boyer takes the inbounds pass back to Jeff Williams. Two minutes, five seconds to go. On the side to Kendall. Williams comes over, shoots the long one-hander. It's good. Boy, Williams is red hot. 37 points for Jeff Williams tonight. Of course, Kyle Macy holds the Berry Bowl individual scoring record. Well, I think 51 that he, he got a couple years ago. Long shot from the side, a little bit short. Rebound underneath by Harrison, blocked by Griner, tipped the ball out in the process to Jeff Williams, he brings it down, goes for the layup and scores! What a move by Williams, he's red hot, 71-46. Barry's routing the Husky. Harrison with the ball, out deep to Oliver. Over to Davidson, down the corner, Harrison with the ball. Hill for a shot, it's blocked by Griner again, picked out by Boyer, down the floor, Williams is there, the layup is down! 39 points for Jeff Williams. 41 points for Williams. 73 to 46. And a minute eight to go and a foul on Scott Boyer. That's the second foul on Boyer. And Jeff, uh, Jim Williams was trying to call timeouts. So Jeff committed a foul on the floor. Timeout by the Berries. 106 left to go in the fourth quarter. 73 46, Logan Sport. Fitter had what, about 47 points? 47, I think he had. I'm not sure. But it's like that, so. I think it might have been Arn Oliver or Harrison. Free throw shooter is Rusty Griner, and he scores. Rusty is now one for three at the free throw line. A minute and four to go. 
Here's Griner's second free throw attempt. It's no good. The rebound batted to the side of the floor is picked up by Oliver. Long hook pass, and it will be out of bounds in the corner, and they'll award it to Hayward. Rusty Griner knocked it out. Harrison inbounds. Here's a fake and a shot along the baseline that's good, and scoring was Viserol. His first basket at 74-47. Long fan, and we're going to get another whistle. Barry's went to put the ball in play and evidently violated the restraining line. Logan Sport has Rick Hollering in the game now for John Malloy. Here's the inbounds pass. Davidson, baseline jumper, is good. Davidson scoring. Long pass down for the Barry's. Williams puts it up and scores again. 40 seconds left to go in the game. 76-40, Logan Sport, 30 seconds. Long one-hander from the side is no good by Visrall. Rebound in the lane, and we're getting a foul ball with 31 seconds to go. And the foul is on ground. Well, they just made some type of announcement. I think that would be a new very good record. Which may be a new very good record as far as a Logan Sport Barry player is concerned. Kyle Macy holds the scoring record uh, for an individual, and he had 51 points in his junior year. Free throw shooter is Oliver, and he misses the free throw. Rebound underneath is no good, and it's in play. Let's see a scramble down here in the corner, and it's ruled out of bounds. Hayward's ball. Flowers has come in the game for Logan Sport, and Jeff Williams has come out. 76 to 40, the Berries lead. Pass in, Davidson shot with 20 seconds to go. Is no 20 seconds, 76 to 40, Logan Sport. Taken again, another try for the layup is good. 76 42 with 20, or with 12 seconds. 11 seconds to go, and Hayward steals the pass against the reserves and scores, and the layup was scored by Davidson. Here's a pass up to Kendall. Down the floor, Rick Collering with the last second shot. It's it's no good, and that's the end of the ball game with a final score, Logan Sport 76. Final score, 76 to 50.